As soon as you see Q-Bert, I need you to hit those hearts. That brother is full of great energy. Now you do that, and because I'm dealing with so much technical stuff here, I'm like, man, I don't hear him. I don't know if, so keep going. So Q-Bert, uh, how's everything on, on the West? Dude, we don't give a fuck about this shit. Look, at this, this defeats the purpose. I'm breathing through this mask. <laughs> That's how I make our homeless women. I have that on my face every Friday. <laughs> <laughs> so, Cuber, you know, you've been involved in, in the game for years. And uh, uh, one fun fact is Jerry Garcia and Cuber, what do you guys have in relation? Both from around the same neighborhood, right? Yeah, we lick acid. And both alumni of none other than uh, Balboa High School, right? Actually, what's weird is he just lived down the street from my mom's house. <laughs> See? I swear That's to a God. Great... I swear to God. I, 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 hey, I know. I, I, look, I Googled. I found out. I read a couple of things, and I was impressed by it. Now, Q-Bird, I got to tell you, man, I know you have a lot of treats. You have a lot of toys. And what this is about is about your hip-hop uh, memorabilia and beyond. Crazy Legs has showed us his, uh, his baseball cards. Uh, tomorrow, we're going to have Kwame, Mr. Polka Dot. He's going to be on here. But now, Qbert, let us a little bit into some of the stash you got in your vault. Go for it. All right, check it out. I mostly, I don't really collect stuff. I just mostly like collect robots. So I got these like crazy giant robots. This is a B-Boy Kaiser. This guy's huge. Look at this. Put my hand on him. This guy's huge. <laughs> wow. This guy's a big guy. That's this beautiful. Is like, uh, when it was a kid, it was Mazinger Z, which is a, uh, I think I got it. Oh, here you go. This is a Mazinger. This guy right here, he ain't even plastic. This is, um, that's metal. That shit is fucking, wow. this thing is like a million pounds right here. Look at this. <laughs> I mean, you, can hear, you can't hear that, but that shit is metal. Now, where'd you get that at? This right here, this is uh, eBay. You can find, you got to type in um, a Chogokin. Chogokin means uh, metal Japanese robot. Because I don't like the that's... plastic toys. I got That's my beautiful. Home. I just found one of my star screams uh, that was created in Europe, and it's metal as well. And I metal, was so yeah. Excited. I like the diecast stuff. See, this is yes. Like little guy over here. All diecast robots. So now, you know, you know, I guess you're, you're, you're talking about an era and, and getting into that. I'm a big Transformer fan from, from when I was a kid. Now, you're... Yeah, this, this is before Transformers. Yeah, I know. That's what I'm saying. So, I, you know, 70, of course, I'm... I'm, I'm I'm ancient. <laughs> no, you're deep with it, and I love it. I uh, admire it. How old it. are you anyway? I don't even know how old are you. Come on, B. Me and you are tweens. This what? is what we're doing. A thousand we listen years to old? songs. Yeah. Here we go. Yo, so Cuber, now what, you know, come, coming out here, look at that. Now explain that for, for the people who are looking at it, please. See, these are like uh, before Transformers, right? This is like. Um... Could you, you could turn the camera around. You can yeah, turn the Japan, camera, let the people in. Yeah, in Japan, they had these toys that was uh, way before Transformers. It was like, yep. this is 1970s type shit. Mm -hmm. So I don't even, some of these, I don't even know the names of them. I just, like, when I was a kid, I was so young, I was so into it. I don't even know the names of some of them. This is, I think this is Getter Dragon, and I don't even know who the hell this is. I just got him because he was metal. Yeah, good quality stuff. You bought that around the crib or somewhere else? This is like you go to Japan. They got a place called Japantown out here in San Francisco, or you could go to uh, eBay or you, whatever, uh -huh. Craigslist, everything. You just type in um, Chogokin, metal, metal uh, robots from Japan. So now, Qbert, I wanted to ask you a question in regards to coming up into a game and into a culture as well from, from uh, where you're from uh, in, in your side of uh, the Bay. Uh, how do you how, how do you get into not only DJing but when you start getting acclimated with the culture and where does your confidence come in at? When when you practice a lot, if you don't practice a lot, oh, oh, you get nervous as fuck. But if I practice a lot, I don't, I don't give a fuck. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> so what what allows you? Because I I also love to have a great time. I guess that's that's the reason why I love you so much. What allows you to be so open? Um, not only. Uh, confidence wise but you break the limitations to the ideas of what somebody who loves hip-hop uh is supposed to be you know people might think you got to be hardcore and all serious but we like to bug out and have a good time so what what brings that out of you 
Well, when I first, when I started getting into uh, like alien stuff, because I wanted to get, I wanted to learn about music from outer, outer space. You know, every planet uh -huh. got different type of music, all these aliens. There's a gang of aliens out there, you know, uh -huh. uh, extraterrestrials. They got a gang of planets out there. This Earth ain't the only planet. So it's like, what does the music sound like out there? And then I started getting into um, the way they live, their culture. And then it's like, oh, damn, they have a weird spirituality outlook. And they, like the really high spiritual ones, believe everything is one. We're all God. Everybody's God. There's only one person on this whole universe. Everybody's just God in an individual form. So you're God. I'm God. Everybody's God. When I'm talking to people, when I'm talking to them, I'm talking to myself. We're all one person. So it's like, oh, shit, we're God. What the fuck? Let's do this shit. <laughs> so when you're God, when you know you're God, you can fucking do whatever you want. But you got it's good energy. Yeah. So it's cool. We're all fucking one person. We all get it. You know what I mean? So so in, in, in the realities of, of our identities in, in the United States and being being acknowledged, where do you come from where you're like recognizing in your identity? So, you know, coming up, going into the scene, everyone's looking at you like, hey, or maybe they're not. You know, but I know for me in the East Coast, people will look at me a certain way thinking I don't fit the the you know the stereotypic ver version of what a hip hopper is um did you have to fight any identi identity issues or did you just uh, how did you cope through through those times well it was weird cuz i i'm from a big city so san francisco has got every nationality possible so it's it's don't even matter what nationality you are over here it's it's only matters if you're in the b-boy scene or in a dj scene if you got skills then that's that's what you're categorized at it's, you're either weak or good, and so it's like if that's it, that's that's what it was. So when I went out of the city, I started noticing a little bit uh, a racial tension type shit. But in the city, in a big city, it's it's either it's either you're good or you're whack. That's it. So it's like it was all about practicing, practicing like a motherfucker. And that's it. So coming up, who inspired you uh, to be to become who Qbert is in in I guess more in the realm of the creative space. Um, everybody, everybody. I, I I used to learn a lot. It was mostly the East Coast because that's where it started. Uh, mm -hmm. Grand Grand Mixer, what's the name? Grand Mixer DST with Rocket, and then um, and then uh, Mixmaster Ice from UTFO. Woo! Every every time Woo. he came out, it was a new scratch. And then after that, <laughs> uh, Cash Money came out and Jazzy Jeff, and it was like, it was bananas from there. And then West Coast. Kind of got it. Uh, Joe Cooley, it was like his shit sounded like scrambled eggs. And I was like, I got to learn that. Ugh. And then, of course, I grew up with Mixmaster Mike. That's my boy. We went to middle school together, seventh grade, sixth grade. And it's like, he's still my partner. We got a crew called Channel Zektar. Shots to him with uh, Cypress Hill 420 today. And then, um, Sweet. And then, and then like, you started, oh. it, when when did you figure out that you can, what up, Cut Chemist? I want you on here soon. But before we continue, Cut show chemist. me some. Show me something else you got in, in the stash. Now, let you guys know uh, this is a show about showing us your gems. So please, Qbert, let the people know uh, a nice treat that you look at that keeps you inspired in your studio and your well, place where you I, get I it. just talked to, uh, you know, Justin Boo. He's from New York, right? Justin Boo, you seen this book right here? Yes. Legends of Hip Hop? Yes. So when I when I first met him... I got lucky because then I was like, fuck that. Give me the original motherfucking front cover of that book right now. So that, <laughs> that is the original painting. That's the original right here. If you look close, you can see all the like paint markings. I don't know if you know if you can see it, but that's Biggie Smalls. And this is the original Snoop Dogg right here in the book. And then this is the original James Brown that's in the book. If you can see, you can see all the, see all the, it's all wrinkled. I don't know if you can see all that. All the pencil marks and shit. Now we were uh, we did we did an episode with uh, Russell Peters and he showed us uh, the Justin piece in his crib of none other than an amazing, beautiful human called uh, Qbert, man. Yeah, yeah, he got he got one of those paintings too. This is a, what's that right there? Go for it. Walk us. This through. is a uh, um, a gold. I like to collect gold things. I love gold. <laughs> this is a gold turntable. Me, Mixmaster Mike, and Apollo won at the DMC when we we got a uh, we won a world championship. Let's see what else is there? Oh yeah, this is cool. Shouts to Pioneer for giving me this. What does this say? America's best DJ 
1897. So Mark, can you can Mark you Mark turn Mark. the camera around? So because what we're seeing is the reverse perspective of it. Okay, let me unless do that right you now. Uh, unless you smash your phone. Okay, let me do that right now. Hold on. The reverse. Of it. <laughs> yeah. I got hey, a, uh, well, I got an iPhone 2s. Yeah, I got the Rocksteady Mobile, so it's a flip iPhone one, and it's I only see everything in black and white. So. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see here. If you can figure it out, cool. <laughs> Let me see. Oh, here you there go. You go. Oh, there you go. There, there you go. go. Good job. Got more robots. Now, there. now, give us that gold tour. Those are all beautiful. Where'd you get them from? What okay, they mean these, to you? These are a rare gold-plated Gundam. Gundam robots are big or super huge. Look. Just letting yes. you know how, how huge these are. And then, oh, I want to give a shot to my boy Mars One. This painting right here is like over a hundred thousand bucks. Woo. You guys know Mars One? Mars One, shot to him. This is like, woo, that's like psychedelic shit right there. Then these are some, uh, what's this, Robotech? Robotech. Robotech. Wow. Robotech, and then uh, I don't even know what the other one. I think it's called a Matchbox guy with that one in the back. Ray Dean from back in the days. Yeah, I love Gundam. But I, you know, honestly, I don't give a shit about these robots. <laughs> yeah, you know, you into, know what it is. I'm it's more into it's this shit right here. This is what I really collect. These all these old school drum machines is what I collect. That's good, man. Check out this. This right here. This that's... is a Moog, a Moog Goldie. This is the real shit right here. <laughs> yeah, that's sick. Fuck these robots. <laughs> Fuck yeah, them. Right. I, unless now, somebody came this, to your house, yo, can I have your robots? You're not you gotta have this to Futura, go with those things. You gotta have a Futura. You gotta have this too. I know you got one of these. Hit the hearts for the Futura piece autograph and the belt buckle. Now, uh, Q, w w were you into anything other uh, else in, in regards to uh, hip hop? Any other elements or just DJing? Just DJ. I, I, I used to break dance. I used to pop, and boy, was I whack. So I, I just, I just, <laughs> I stuck. I got, I got booed. But this is the real shit. If you guys don't know what this is, this is a Lin Nine Thousand. This is if you want to sound like the first two Portishead albums, get this. Woo! This is the secret. This is like five G's on on eBay. Don't even try to get that. But this, I know. Break B Lou right now is like whoa. There he goes. This. Who knows about Dr. Octagon? That's the shit right there. So these these are another gold plated turntables? No, these are these are wood. This is wood. <laughs> these shits give me wood. This is like what Hit the I'm hearts about. for the wood turntables, y'all. I'm into that Zen shit, you know what I mean? Who knows what's up with this? Who knows what's up with the Yantra? Who knows what's up with the Flower of life. I'm into all this shit. This Mars one shot to him. I'm into graffiti. You know, you got to have the Ill East 3 graffiti. That's beautiful. But yeah, you got to have now, the wood variables. Now, in all seriousness, Cuba, what allows you to become such a free spirit individual who could be inspired by more than just your typical things that are that are just shown? Like, I can see you, you, you you're, you're definitely, you, you do the vegetarian thing, which is great. And how do you, I, I'm 99% vegetarian. That's fine. So how do you just come into all this information? Are you a book reader or like what's your what's what's your outside of hip hop and music? Uh, what do you um, do? Everything. Mostly nature. I'll walk around because I got a dog. I'll walk around in nature. We'll get inspired by everything. Everything. All the geometry and all the all the weird ass flowers and plants. You get a, a lot of scratch ideas from from nature. I just cut my dog's hair today. It's atrocious. And he looked at me like I'm looking crazy, dad. But hey, oh, love, man. love made me do it. Love my, made my me dog, do it. My dog hugged me this morning and he threw up and he stinks. And I stink right now, too. I smell like throw up. That's hip hop. <laughs> 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 so those are, those are great pieces. Now, what the whole point of, of it is also like visually stimulating and also some things you couldn't uh, afford when you were a kid and then you attain these things later on. And how cool is that, Qbert? Like, you know, throughout your travels, what like some of the highlights of your career 
that are kind of like out of body ex experience for uh, DJ Cubert. Man, you know, just learning about, you know, like life, and it's like, I always everybody want to be happy, right? So the ultimate happiness is giving. So the more stuff I give out, the more I use my skills to make the world a better place. It comes back to me. That's a, that's all it is. That's really all it is. And and you know, being interested now, what's that? What am I looking at? Oh, he, this is my boy Nomi N O M E. He um he has a weird thing with his hand where he puts a um he grabs a pencil and he puts his uh pencil on the paper and it just draws stuff automatically out of out of nowhere. He's just weird like that. <laughs> And you have it on the wall. What a good human being. Yeah, so being dope. admiring uh, aliens and stuff like that, uh, what planet did you lose your virginity in? Uh, Mars. Oh, look at that vinyl. This is the up rock, rock steady crew, gold everywhere. But pa pa Pakistan, <laughs> it's a big record right there. Crazy Legs was on here as well. And he showed us a lot of beautiful treats. And Q, you know, that's... That's definitely nice. Now, what was it like? One of my highlights, I already caught wind of Invisible Scratch Pickles, but you guys competing against the execu uh, executioners, um, you know, you guys are still coming into the scene. Uh, what, what, was, what, what was that moment like for you in New York City? Well, it's because the executioners, then we, um, we used to uh, study their style. And so we was like, okay, we got to go up against these guys. We got to really come hard. Because they, they invented that whole, that bee juggling style that's like, way advanced new york got got is way ahead of us so we um we have to practice a lot and we have to make up a lot of shit that's not um uh, that's not normal so we have to make up unorthodox stuff so so it's like it was just a fun battle man it's like you know when you compete at a high level it's gonna make you a high level or else or else you're gonna get booed <laughs> basically did, did you immediately embrace technology with uh serato's introduction or did it take Hell you some time no. Hell no. I said, man, fuck this shit. Because I was hardcore. I was like, fuck that. It's got to be two, two, two turntables and vinyl. Fuck that. And then I said, ah, fuck it. This is pretty dope. <laughs> <laughs> now, the animated uh, piece that you did, Wave tw Twisters, uh, one of the fun facts is that's the way Fantasia was made, where the music was made, and then it was animated on it. Yes. Uh, actually, how I, um, I, uh, I released a track today, 420, at 420 p.m. just right now. It's called Doombox. So you can get it on... Um, Spotify, iTunes, all that. Yes, and make sure you guys continue to support everything this brother does. Now, you do have a kind of limited edition uh, Kid Robot that they that they had did uh, oh. as well. Yeah, let me go get that. Hold on. So what he's going to go get, could you talk, talk about it? Limited edition Kid Robot. It is, what is this now? Uh, a toy they made. Oh, Kid Robot them? Oh, look at that neck. Yo, is that a hickey on your neck, bro? Why, am, why yeah, you have a at, hickey? I was at your sister's house. <laughs> yeah! She's a whore. <laughs> Here you go. Where is it right now? What up, Dart? This is a white QFO with this guy right here. On the back of this is a little... I'm going to send you one of these. Psych. Yeah, all right. <laughs> Those are limited, <laughs> fam. That's amazing. Yeah, that's a white one. You can get, I, I think you can get this limited black one still, but. A white one. Yep. You know, you got to have these gold turntables too. Gold. And then they turn, and then I they turn gold. your. And then they turn your, your, uh, one of the, the one that you show with the Kango hat into a toy as well, yeah? Uh, I don't know. I, I'm not sure. Did you give I'll, Did you give one of those to Russell Peters? Um, I don't know. I know he stole a gang of shit from me though. So smart, smart Canadian. You can't <laughs> nah, trust he those Canadians. He, he didn't steal nothing from me. That's my boy. Hit him and Drake. They're cute, but you can't trust them. They'll take your heart. Wow. That's a gold old five. That's when we won the World DMC competition a long time ago. Now take it. Hold on. Could you? Could you? I, I know you're zooming through it, and I appreciate that. But like to look at to look at those mixes, man. That's like can 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 you just go back on there, please? Those are just DMC trophies. Like we won world competitions before, and and all that. But you know what? The real trophy is to me right here. Boom. SP twelve hundred limited edition. <laughs> Hit the hearts. He's so authentic. He's like, yo, bro, check out my equipment, fam. 
Now these are hard to find. You know why? Cause the all that shit, all that other shit, all them toys, all this, all this shit is cool, but it don't make money. These motherfuckers make the world a better place, right here. This is where the art. Well, you know, it all comes from creativity. It is all art, and I'm sure all that stuff does inspire you. So, and and these right there in our world, cute. Those are our our toys as well. So. This Look right here that. is a limited edition MPC 3000. See the little uh, gold plate on the top? That's the shit I put in there because I had to use this for a second. Wow. And what are you, what is, uh, you know, one of those, those uh, moments prior, prior to all this that just keeps you going uh, into 2020 and, and just beyond and you just, and just, what's something creatively that just keeps, look at that. Oh my God. Especially like <laughs> five, six Gs for an 808. Because there's two kinds of 808s. Remember, there's, there's two of them. There's one that doesn't sound good, and there's. <laughs> but they, they, uh, they fucked us up with that one. Oh my gosh. I just totally lover forgot. got like eight, eight, eight 808s. He said every one sounds different. Cuber, you come onto the scene, you're doing your thing, and who is it? Who's that person that you're like, wow, they know who Cubert is? Nobody. It's just you. Thank you. Yes. Thank you so much. I'll tell my mother she's amazing for having unprotected sex with my dad. <laughs> He's got an ASR 10. Rizza yeah, did 36. I, I should turn it with the purple screen, which y'all know about that. Purple screen. So, purple so one of your, one of your, show me one of the pieces that you mo you more often you use the most. Yeah, probably this this ASR ten because um this is like Timbaland's secret weapon right here. This is the, this is the shit. You put a um you put drums through this and it makes it. I'll show you. I'll show you. I'll show you. So you got this like let's say you make your little drums right. You make your little drums and it looks like this um uh, this robot, but then you put the you put the beat through the ASR ten and it turns uh -huh. into and it turns into <laughs> that robot, a big fat guy. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah, so that's what's uh, That's beautiful. Same uh, with this shit right here. You put a beat, a, a really, a banging ass beat, and you throw it through this, and it makes it Godzilla banging. Wow. Now, if there's any, is there any character in this world you would love to uh, go to battle with? Who would it be? No one. I get my ass beat. Are you crazy? You wouldn't want to go up against Godzilla. You wouldn't want to go up against uh, any anything or what powers or you know because it just seems so amazing. You could just go. What What are you? What is some some character that speaks to you? Woo! Probably the Flash because because you can go crazy on the turntables. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll, teleport, I'll teleport to a different planet to check out their music. That's what I would do. There you go. That's beautiful. Cubert, uh, you know, you have a lot of items that, that people can go out there and support and purchase. Uh, where can people go and check out all your stuff? Go to uh, djcubert.com. We got a, a record that's sold out, but I got a few stragglers, stragglers left. And um, I, it's called Super Seal 4. No, I'm sorry. Super Seal 7. Super Seal, just type in Super Seal Pro. You'll see it. It's, it's right there on thudrumble.com or djcubert.com. Uh, you was out there for the JMJ anniversary, the tenth, a uh, couple of years back, and uh, you know you've you've been friends with Raider. Uh, do you have any Rock Raider uh, stories? Yeah, I, I remember when I was a kid, I gave him a, a robot, and he was very happy. I gave him one of those uh, those uh, Shogun Warrior robots. He came over my uh -huh. came over my house, and I gave him one. What y'all know about this? This is. Said that this is the SP-1200, the keyboard version. Just letting you guys know. <laughs> what? <laughs> this right here, Prophet 2000. If you know, and does anybody know who Mantronics is? Let's go. The inspiration for many. If you know who Mantronics is. <laughs> you guys know what that yep. is then. Cubert, you an amazing human being. Continue to inspire people and make people want to smile and travel to other planets. Bro, Look at him. you are, let me just say, you are hilarious, man.
I said, I, man, you are a funny <laughs> motherfucker. I, I, you make me happy. That's all I got to say. <laughs> well, that's, that's really good. I, you know, we inspire each other, and that's a great thing. Salute to everybody who knows who Mantronics is. Uh, whoever knows these, these items that he's showing, if you know who Rock Raider uh, is and JMJ, everyone in the, in, in, the, in the room right now, look at the seal. We got a special appearance. Do I got to send a, a, a PayPal for the seal appearance right now? Oh, but come on, y'all. Here we go. Yo, yo, I, I, I got to go to the bathroom. I'm going to have Scratchy Seal take over. Okay, I'll see you later, uh, Q-Bert. Let's talk to Super Seal. Get, get out of here, Q. Let me take over. This is my show. Get that fucker out of here. What's up, guys? What's up, Super Seal? I destroy. That's my boy right there. What's Super up? Super Seal, so when did you allow q to come into planet Earth and live uh, at your house? He's paying mortgage, so it's all good. I'm the landlord. Yes, and does and does your wife want to throw Cubert out the house or what? Which wife? Yeah, snitches don't snitch on Super Seal. <laughs> <laughs> Seal, you are amazing. I love how you shave. How often do you shave? Where downstairs? On your yeah yeah yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Why are you looking over there? Uh, Here we go. Seal, uh, so why doesn't he have any Transformers in his house, man? Because he's a transsexual. Yeah! <laughs> Seal, I would kiss you in the mouth right now if you was here. I love you as a human being and as a DJ and as a selena fan because i know you love tejano music does cubert know this he likes it a lot do you like shark week i am a shark <laughs> seal what is your favorite hip-hop album to throw up on don't answer <laughs> run dmc yes favorite. that's the correct answer I run New York. Woo! Uh, Jam Master J, what's up? Uh, Seal, once again, I love your hairless hair. Did you lose your virginity on Earth or somewhere else with Cuber? Tell me. When I went to Mars with your sister. Yes! My sister is a chicken head. Not a seal head, but she gave a seal head. Boom! <laughs> Lick it, suck it, suck it. <laughs> Lick it, it's hairless. Yes. All right, Seal. So do you want him to get rid of all the robots in the house and replace them for dolls or, or, or of some other cartoon or what? He hasn't showed you his robotic dildo collection. Yeah! <laughs> Is that what he's using right now in the bathroom? I hear some vibrations. All right, so what is the – Seal, I want to ask you, what is the clo the artist that, I guess, imagery just appealed to Q-Bert, uh, you know, when he was coming up? Like, that he was like, wow, this is kind of outside the box. Oh, uh, tell you the truth, I don't give a shit about him. It's all about me. <laughs> seal, 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 Seal. Did you ever try to uh, sue the singer Seal for using your name? You suck the simple penis semen sucker <laughs> sappy susu. Yes! Seal, once again, I hope you impregnated my sister. I again? hope. Yes, good. Thank you. I need a nephew and a niece. Let's do it, please, Seal. I love your teeth. Take care. I'll see I'll you, see you later. later, Seal. All right, everybody. <laughs> Get the new record on. Everybody Run hit the heart. Bro, look out for the new one coming out too. Ching, ching, Thank ching, you so ching, much. Ching, ching. <laughs> Super Seal, uh, q is, is q back yet? I want to tell him bye and thank him uh, for coming on down and hanging out. 
Make sure he wiped his butt. There you go. Oh, Yo, man, bro. That, that guy, that guy's rowdy. Sorry about that, man. Your that boy is out of control, but man, he's, he's mean to me, man. He's mean. Does he have a Tinder account? I uh, he has he has an Instagram, uh, Scratchy Seal, S K R A T C H. Yes, sir. Hubert, thank you so much, my brother. In all honesty, continue continue with that great energy. We appreciate it greatly. Look at that beautiful mug right there. Who invented America? Look at that kid. His parents had unprotected sex and had him. Q Bert. I love you, brother. Destroy, man. Stay You're amazing. The best. You're the best, man. You're the best, bro. I love you, man. Once again, make sure you guys follow him and also purchase whatever items he has available because he's a, an amazing guy who is definitely wearing a mask that's not going to help him do anything but successfully turn <laughs> down a homeless woman. <laughs> show me, not porn, show me your ticket stubs, everybody out there. Uh, all you got to do is press the request and we'll take your request right here, right now. Happy 420. Look at that. Look at that guy. Oh my God. <laughs> I think uh, the Super Seal creamed on that robot. You better watch what you touch, bro. Super, super sperm. Yo, somebody said they have wristbands from every car concert that they went to. That's amazing. That's really cool. Put it on you there. Ever Put it on there. Put it on there. Now, q -Bert, were, yes, did sir. you ever fan out on anyone you ever met? Hell no. Nah. <laughs> One person, me, Hulk Hogan, I was like, bro, that's Hulk Hogan. I didn't really say nothing to him, but I just said, yo, that's freaking Hulk Hogan. Now, I want to give, give a guy. shot to more. You know who it was? Crazy Legs and Ken Swift from Rock City Crew. That's, that's how deep hip-hop I was. I don't give a fuck about anybody. But when I met those guys, I was like, holy shit. Yeah, of course. Of course. I was definitely. How many times did you see Beach Street? Beach Street? Mm, I don't know. Yeah, about at least over five times. <laughs> Star Wars, I, fucking uh, Wild Style, all that shit. I, those 20 million times. Wonderful. Salute to everybody uh, who whoever uh, seen Crazy Legs without a shirt on. It's an amazing sight that Super Seal told me about. He's got a tattoo <laughs> of a penis on his chest. This is a fact. This is 100% a fact. If you guys want to update Crazy Legs Wikipedia page, you are more than welcome to do it and put this show as a reference, an episode. <laughs> Q, you have to get, you have to, unfortunately, you have to get out of here so that other Man! Can, that, yeah, that's exactly. I love, you, I love you. I'm out. I'm out. Love you, man.